Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my playlist where I'm covering React and TypeScript. Okay, in this video we are going to talk about In this video we are going to talk about context APIs, how to write context APIs with React TypeScript. I mean the concept is same. It's just like now we have to take care of defining the types. So let's get started with this. So what is the use of context? Context is like in the parent component you define the context and in the child component you can consume that context by creating one provider at the top level and one consumer at the child level. Or you create the context and in the, in the functional component you can use, use context as a hook or create a producer and consumer in the class based component. Okay. So let's create a simple type context props. And what all properties we are going to have authenticated. This is a boolean property. Then we have some other property. Okay, the language. This is like a application level settings. You are setting language and theme, which is of type string. Okay, this should be at the theme provider context or let's say a root provider context so that I can use these variables anywhere in my component. I don't need to pass this as a props, right? This is the use of context APIs that you don't have to do the props drilling any component by writing the consumer or by using use context. You can access the properties defined inside a context props. Okay, so let's create a app context export const so app context how we do it using react dot there is a method create context and what we are going to specify currently all these are required right we haven't marked them as an optional so we will do is partial this context is created right now how can we use this app context in any of the component const header Right here, what you can do is you can create a consumer. So how we do it using app context dot there is a consumer and just write a closing for this. And inside this, I can access whatever this app context is providing us. Okay, so inside this, I'm able to access the app context. So all the which property you wanted to access I have access to all uh, the whole context object here either you can access the context object and write an arrow function and this will return here you can check some conditions okay context dot is authenticated there is a property authenticated if this is true then what we will return is JSX and I will say you are logged in right if this is false then also we have to do something we can just return this JSX saying you are not logged in okay I mean there is a header component there you want to show that user is logged in or not right so this component is able to consume the context header component Okay, this component is able to consume the consumer app context dot consumer, but where this app context came from that will be defined in the parent component. This is our app component parent. And here we will what we will do is this is a functional component here we are returning app context dot provider. Here we are defining app context dot provider and inside this you can render your child component. Okay, and in the app context spot we are passing. This is the place where we are passing the data so that the consumer can access this data. Okay, so what we are saying is inside value we are just passing only one property authenticated true. It can be whole big object whatever the property you wanted to pass. Okay, this is something which we want we are passing in the context and this is our child component header. Right now 
this header component is able to access this authenticated property from the context. How is that possible? Because we are we already wrapped it this header component in the provider with the provider. Now the whatever is in the provider context that is available in the child component, the child component can access it using the consumer, using context.consumer or we can write use context hook and then finally we can render this render the app component at document.get element by id and there is a root id i think that's our code and you can see we are not logged in here if i'm passing false and you are not logged in right so this is just another use case of showing the same example using use context here we are not writing app context dot consumer we are able to access the context by using use context hook in the functional component so we already know like in the class based component we can't use hooks there we always use app context dot consumer in the jsx and inside that we can access the context object here we are accessing this value and this value is this particular object and using dot authenticated we can access the property right this is just an example in the functional component way using the use context hook now we can also see another example uh, using context provider and consumer okay let's write uh, another example on the context apis so what we are going to do is uh, let's create a app context as a separate file and then we'll build on top of that so let's see i have created app context dot ts and what i'm doing is here i imported everything uh, as react from react and here i will define my interface export interface uh, app context inside app context i have name as a string author as a string and then i have a url as a string okay and i can create a context from this const context equal to react dot create context and what is the type type here i'm defining type is app context this is the type and I mean it can be of type app context interface let's define type as an interface or it can be of type null because we are going to initialize it with null so this is how we can specify and that is saying this this context can belongs to this object or can belongs to null and then we can create a consumer and producer export const app context producer and how we do it we can just do a context dot provider and then same thing we can create app context dot consumer so here this is our producer it is consumer okay so this is our context we defined it now we are going to write we are going to use this context in our component so here it is our index.tsx let's remove the things which we don't need from previous example here we are going to initialize our context so what we can do is first of all we will import app context provider and consumer that we can do from so what is the name is app context and what we are importing is app context interface app context provider and consumer okay let me copy these app context producer and consumer Those things we are getting from app context and 
let's define our context initialize our context let's say sample post info that is of type app context interface that we can get from here because we have defined a type what type of data this context can have and now we, we know there are three things first of all we will import this is it okay we have to import it like this just let me check what all we are exporting we are exporting interface and two constants which we have imported here sample info now you can see it is complaining because properties are missing so we can just specify name url and what is the next property is author you can initialize test okay so this is my sample post info and what i want to do is i will create my post component and inside this post component what i'm saying is i'm returning div post info and it is rendering another component let's say post info okay here i don't want to pass this is a props what i'm expecting is if this component is if i just want to pass this context then this context can easily be accessible inside this component and here i am getting this from i need to create this component post info let's create it here inside src create file post info dot tsx okay we are importing react so inside post info what i want to do i want to access this data which is defined inside this so what i can do is i can do it in the two different ways if it is this is a functional component i can either get the app context consumer first from this file app context and this is app context i'm trying to get app context consumer and what we can do is export const what we are doing is post info we are exporting this and what I'm saying is okay what it is returning this is what it is returning app context dot consumer app context consumer wrap everything inside this and inside this we are able to access the app context this is how we did in the last video also I mean the last example here we are able to access app context simply arrow function and this is what is returning we will just check app context is there then if it is there then return this and this is the post info and this post info we are importing in the app component main component right here but how this post info is able to get the provider if you are not using use context right so that magic is happening in our default app component i mean in the root component const app here we are wrapping this component inside a provider app context dot provider so what we can see is const app because this is the main file const app and we can say is app context provider producer or provider I mean you can put any name but this is mostly known as a provider and a consumer okay so we can just rename it just for the sake export const provider just rename this this is now provider there is a typo but that is fine okay and here inside i have app context provider and inside this i will be rendering my post component so now this component this component is getting rendered inside the provider so what it is helping what it will do is it will help us to to access the consumer object inside a post info this change it will do okay
here we have to return this and then document dot render are we using render api yes and we are also need to pass value which we just almost forgot and inside the value what we will pass this object which we wanted to use or consume in the child object child component okay and then render what is our app component is there document dot get element by id and the id is root okay so now things should come up post info what is the problem here okay i mean this is just a warning i can ignore that and you can see test 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 okay name is let's say tk sharma and my website name is tksharma.com and author is tarun sharma okay uh, things are coming so this is how we are writing the the provider we are writing consumer and there are other another ways also like you can use use context in the class based component use context in the function based component and you can create a provider and a consumer so provider you will put inside a parent component and you will write a consumer inside any of your child component like this here i put a provider and post is a child of the provider so inside a post component i can access all the the values which are defined here even you can also trigger a method and update this state like use context and use reducer you can combine together and can create a small state management solution okay so this is just a very basic example about context my objective was to just to talk about how to define the typings that we are doing here we created an interface and then we define the type for the context that it can be of null or app context interface it can be of null that's why we are able to i mean we can just initialize it as a null and we can directly pass it here we initialize the context values default context values and that same values we are accessing inside a post info component which is a child component using consumer okay that's it thanks everyone